Hello everyone. In the previous lesson we looked at simple interest. Now we're going to look at something called compound interest. Now let's say you had a thousand rand and you wanted to put that in the bank for two years and the bank would give you 10% PA or per that stands for per year. Could you quickly pause the video and work out how much would you have after one year? Don't use any fancy formulas, just think about it yourself. Alright, so after one year, well the bank says that they're going to give you 10%. So 10% of a thousand is a hundred rand. So the bank will give you a hundred rand and so after one year, your total amount should be a thousand one hundred. Now, going into the second year, the bank should still give you 10%, but they should actually give you 10% of 1,100. Why? Because that is how much money you have. You don't have the 1,000 anymore. Can you see what just happened there? So if we're using simple interest, which is what we did in the previous lesson, the bank will keep giving you 100 Rand every month even though you don't have a thousand rand anymore. So for simple interest, after one year, you would have a thousand one hundred. But then after the second year, they will still give you, they'll only give you another one hundred rand, and so you would only have a thousand two hundred. With compound interest, the bank says, oh wait a minute, this person has a thousand one hundred rand. We should give them ten percent of that and 10% of 1,100 is 110 Rand. And so now all of a sudden you have 1,210 Rand. See the difference? If you had to go into year three, simple interest, they would still just give you 100 Rand. In compound interest, they would give you 10% of your new amount that would be another 121 Rand. And so now all of a sudden you have 1,331 Rand. You see your money is starting to grow a lot faster using compound interest versus simple interest. So just remember, simple interest has this formula that we looked at in the last, okay, I'm just gonna say SI for simple interest. Compound interest, thankfully, is very similar. It's almost identical but we just take the N and we put it over there. That's all, so that's compound interest. I wanna quickly show you how simple interest grows. Simple interest grows, remember they kept adding 100 Rand, so your money just goes up as a straight line, adding 100 Rand each year, or each month. No, each year, sorry. With compound interest, your money grows very, it, it grows almost the same as simple interest in the beginning, but then it just starts getting faster and faster and faster and faster like that. So compound interest makes your money grow very quickly compared to simple interest, especially if you are investing over a very long time period, like 20 years for example. So all that you need to really do in the exams and the tests and in class is see whether the teacher is talking about simple or compound and then you just use the correct formula. Alright, so here's quite a cool exercise. We have to help someone decide whether they should use compound or a simple interest investment. So it says here that the person will invest a thousand rand for 20 years and the bank will offer 10% per year. Now guys, I would highly suggest that you pause the video and try it yourself. The answers are at the bottom, so see if you can get to the answers. All right, for simple interest, we know that the formula is like this. Now P is your starting amount, which is the 1,000 Rand. I is your percentage, which is 10%, so I'll say 10 over 100. And the number of years is 20. If you go type that in, you would end up with 3,000 Rand. Compound interest uses A equals P 1 plus I to the power of N. And so P is a thousand Rand, also 10%. But now the number of years is, oh no, we don't put it there. The number of years is 20, but we put it at the top. So if you go type all that in, you end up with 6,727 Rand and 50 cents. So you can see that compound interest begins to dominate. Now something that's really cool that you guys could try 
If you want to quickly see what would happen after 40 years, well, we could type that in because compound interest becomes very powerful over time. So if we do this for 40 years, this person would earn only 5,000 Rand. If the compound interest person went for 40 years, let's see. Whoa! 45,259 Rand and 26 cents. So look at that guys, almost well, more than nine times as much. Compound interest is very powerful over a long period of time. Thank you for watching this lesson.